We are going through a moment of awakening in this country where it's really clear for people that we are having a conversation of the values and the soul of this country. And all of a sudden, some people are saying, oh, wait a minute, that is wrong. I disagree with that. And I must speak up and say something about it. We know that the need immediately is to stop the deportations and to have a way to protect our, co our communities permanently, like a pathway to citizenship, and to stop the racial profiling that is happening in our communities on a daily basis. So the key to ensuring that we have congressional action is gonna be our communities and the country engaging in elections and putting the pressure on their local elected officials and on members of Congress so that we can get a breakthrough. This is why this midterm election is key for us. I mean, it's key for the soul of our democracy and our country, but for immigrant communities in particular, our lives are at stake. The fact is that the decision on whether or not people like my parents and people like my brother who have DACA will get deported or not is in the hands of voters and their decision for how they're gonna show up to the polls and who they're gonna vote for. So United We Dream Action, our organization is engaging in reaching thousands of voters over the next couple of weeks to ensure that people show up to the polls and that we are voting for elected officials and candidates that stand not only in word with immigrant communities, but that will support policies that will bring solutions take away the threat of deportation, and rather have policies that create a pathway to citizenship, where over 1,500 young people are coming together. And not only immigrants, children of immigrants, our black young people, Native American youth, and we're coming together and saying, we have a different vision of this country. We want a country where all of us can live without fear and thrive in our communities. And we know that part of that is ensuring that we mobilize our communities to vote. So all of us are actually gonna go and knock on doors when we come together and get um, voters and communities in Florida ready to vote.